And we've been focusing on the areas inside the path of totality, guys, but what will it look like if you're sort of outside? Now, Scott, you've got a simulated view to hopefully show us this morning if you're right on the border. You know, I, I, I don't want to take it for granted that anyone outside of the path of totality uh, might not understand that what they might experience is going to be very different than those that are in the path of totality. And for instance, let me just tell you, the difference between 99.75% totality versus 100, get this, it's literally night and day. I mean, it is a significantly huge difference. If you live a mile or two outside of the path of totality, you're not going to experience the, the majesty of darkness falling in the middle of the day like uh, folks in the path of totality. So if you're waking up this morning, you've heard all the hype about the eclipse and, and you're thinking, oh, well, I'll just look at it here in my home because I'm at 99.75, it's gonna be okay. I'm telling you, it is worth it. Trust me, believe me, I'll pay for your gas if you don't believe me drive into the path of totality. I want to show you what things today might look like in Sheridan, uh, what you're going to find there just on the outside of totality. Uh, sure, with uh, proper safety eyeglasses, you can look up at the sky and you'll see the disk of the moon uh, come between the sun and the earth. You'll see an eclipse, but you're not going to experience the darkness. Totality is often used as a word synonymous for the darkness. Uh, you, you have to be inside the actual path of totality uh, to experience that. And when I tell you a mile or two difference is going to make all the difference in the world, it really will. Take a look at what it could appear as in Benton. Uh, you will see darkness. Uh, you'll see nearly two minutes of, of totality uh, come later this afternoon when that perfect alignment of the earth, moon, and sun takes place. So uh, you hear about the path of totality. You don't want to take it for granted that anyone might not know what that means and the implications of being even just a little bit outside of it. You don't want to be a little bit outside of it. You want to be in the path. And the closer to the center line you are, the longer totality or the longer darkness you'll experience. And that's one of the reasons places such as here in Russellville, uh, even Hot Springs uh, are as popular as they are. Folks have said, look, if I'm going to fly and I'm going to drive all the way to Arkansas to see an eclipse, mm -hmm. I'd rather experience it for four minutes versus two. And so that's what uh, has made Russellville one of those destinations being just in the dead center of the path of totality. Mm. Well, listen, if you got a cousin that lives in like Sheridan and you live in Benton or yes. you're in the path of, let them come the over. Invite yeah. them over. Tell them to come <laughs> over. Come on, let's experience it together. I mean, come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Scott, a quick question. A word I keep seeing is Corona. Is that, can you explain to a layperson what that means? Yeah, absolutely. So the Corona is the atmosphere. I'm so happy you asked me a science question. This is so exciting. I've been preparing for someone to ask me about the Corona. The Corona is the atmosphere around the sun. And because of the amount of energy emitting from the sun, you just can't see it. Like our eyes, you don't look up at the sun on a normal day, right? And stare at it because it hurts. Uh, even with as advanced as our technology as it is, we still have trouble seeing into that actual sun. So okay. these total solar eclipses give us a really unique and somewhat rare opportunity to study uh, the corona or the atmosphere around the sun. And the reason that matters, it's our star. That sun is the source of life for us here on Earth. So it allows scientists to understand the health of the sun, the health of the star, uh, and maybe learn more about the implications for life here on, on Earth. Well